Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best subwoofers. Starting at number 5. Klipsch R100 SW. It may surprise some folk out there that Klipsch has claimed the crown of the best affordable subwoofer. After all, the American brand, which has a history spanning back to 1946, sells super high-end hi-fi speakers that can cost upwards of $50,000. Thankfully, for those of us on a budget, Klipsch doesn't neglect the affordable end either. Sporting a beautiful 10-inch front-firing driver with a spun copper IMG woofer, the R100SW reference quality sub will cost you under $200. The driver utilizes injection molded graphite IMG cones, which aren't just impressive on paper, in reality, it assists in a smooth, enduring low-frequency projection whilst keeping distortion to an all-time low. For the price, the Injection Molded Graphite IMG, woofer cones are exceptionally light while being extremely rigid providing a remarkable low-frequency response, with minimal cone breakup and distortion to give you the deepest, cleanest bass possible. Although this attractive sub truly looks best when paired with Klipsch monitors, it is capable of performing equally well with other brands. The low-pass crossover and phase controls will allow you to tune the sub to best complement whatever setup you currently have. Coming at number 4. Yamaha DXS15. A subwoofer for live music is slightly different from one for your home setup. It's important to have the front-of-house audio projected towards the audience, whilst personal monitors provide the band with everything they need to hear. That's precisely why the DXS15 MKII stands out as the top choice for venues, its cardioid dispersion offers exceptional directionality, significantly minimizing stage bleed. The DXS15 MKII is also incredibly loud, much louder than you'd expect from a 15-inch driver. With a maximum SPL of 135 dB, this is a 3 dB improvement from the previous iteration, so Yamaha is going in the right direction if you're craving loudness. Sure, there's an 18-inch option in Yamaha's range, but this will do most small to medium-sized venues. With its custom-designed 2.5-inch voice coil magnets, clarity is the name of the game, no flabby low-end in sight. At number 3. SVS PB16 Ultra. Don't get it wrong, the SVS PB16 Ultra isn't going to be suitable for everyone. With a maximum power of 5000 watts and capable of running at 1500 watts RMS, this subwoofer is ideal for those looking to splash some cash and have extremely powerful bass at home. Firstly, the headroom of this subwoofer is outstanding. Through a culmination of the high SPL, maximum wattage, and a large 16-inch driver, the PB16 Ultra can go down to 11 Hz at a very loud volume without a trace of distortion. This is ideal if you have a large home cinema room, or a hi-fi setup in a vast living space and want to fill that room with articulate bass. The Bluetooth control app is very useful for tuning the sub to your specific space. The three-band parametric EQ allows deeper editing than most other subs, and you can stack the bands if you need an extra boost. As for build quality, the SVS PB16 Ultra exudes premium quality, culminating in the metallic grille instead of fabric which has been designed for minimum resonance. Although this quality doesn't come cheap, costing well into four figures, if you're looking to treat yourself, except no substitutes. Number 2 of my list. Cambridge Audio SX120. When it comes to audio, the SX120 kicks things off with an 8-inch woofer, delivering a remarkably detailed and tight bass response. While it may not boast the deep growl of larger drivers, it complements dynamic music exceptionally well. It also throws the audio incredibly well and does an impressive job of encompassing you in whatever you are listening to. As for construction, the rigid MDF cabinet does a commendable job of keeping any unwanted frequencies at bay by minimizing unwanted resonance. Although the SX120 cannot be controlled with a smartphone, the onboard controls are more than enough to help with compatibility in a plethora of different locations. With individual volume, crossover controls, phase switches, and frequency controls, you've got all the tinkering options you'll ever need. And number 1. SVSSB 1000 Pro. 
If you're looking for the best subwoofer overall, there aren't many better options than the SVSSB 1000 Classic. Coming out of Youngstown, Ohio, SVS has a brilliant reputation in the audio world and the SVSSB 1000 Classic Sub is a prime example of what the company has to offer. Capable of crystal clear yet powerful bass, this is a fantastic subwoofer for both music and home cinema applications. The SV1000 Classic can go low, super low, with frequency capacities all the way down to 20 Hz, which is lower than the human ear can even determine. With a 325W RMS pounding out of a 12-inch high excursion SVS driver, it is capable of some stomach-churning low frequencies, particularly when utilized in small to medium spaces. You'll truly feel every explosion, car chase, and heartbeat in your favorite movie. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.